Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to share with you guys a few tips that you can use to improve your aim in Fortnite Battle Royale. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump right into this video. The first tip that I have for you is extremely obvious and very, very basic, but it's very, very important that you do so, and that's to always crouch and shoot when you have the opportunity. Now, if you're being shot at, if you're in a situation where you have to be constantly moving and jumping around, taking the time to crouch and shoot probably isn't going to be your best option. You are making it uh, very easy for someone to kill you if you're just standing still. But if you're coming up behind someone, you're, you're about to attack someone that doesn't know you're there, maybe they're not moving, it's very, very important that you crouch before you start shooting, for your aim is going to be tremendously better. It's going to be so much different uh, than if you weren't to crouch. You guys will notice a huge different, if, uh, difference. If you're fairly new to the game and, and you haven't experienced crouching and shooting, uh, you're missing out on, on so much. You, you always need to crouch and shoot when you have that chance. You will hit so many more shots and you'll be able to kill enemies much quicker and, uh, and get yourself more kills in the game. But always, guys, remember to crouch when shooting uh, when you have that opportunity. The second tip that I have for you is to manage your sensitivities correctly. I see so many people, so many people... Um, that always bump up their sensitivities because they see a lot of these these Fortnite YouTubers, these Fortnite streamers that are ridiculously good at the game, uh, that play on really really high sensitivities, and and they try to to bump up their sensitivities, um, and it just doesn't work out because they're looking all over the place, they're going crazy, and it's not really smart to go from a low sensitivity to a really high sensitivity or vice versa. Uh, so try to manage your sensitivities correctly. Keep in mind you do have multiple sensitivities. You have your X, your Y value, and then you have ADS. Um, so it's very important that you manage each one and, and tend to each one that, 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 that plays the way that you play. So, um, for example, it wouldn't be very smart to have your ADS sensitivity way up uh, to where your X and Y value is because when you aim down sight, your, your, your sensitivity is going to be just as crazy as it was before you aim, making it much harder to hit shots. So, again, guys, kind of get used to what um, you're used to playing to. Don't make any drastic changes. Um, if you want to move up sensitivities, if your goal is to get to maybe like 9 or 10 and you're used to playing on like 5, um, making that jump from 5 to 10 um, is, is not good. You need to slowly work your way up. So maybe like 5 to 6, 5 to 7, and then slowly work your way up so that you can get used to it and not just jump into something that you're going to struggle with for a long time. Um, so, so try to get used to, to slightly higher or slightly lower, whichever direction you want to go, and, and kind of work slowly at it. The third tip that I have for you guys is to manually shoot each shot. Don't hold down the trigger. Uh, this is something that, that I realized really, really quick. Um, I used to never hold down the trigger at all um, until a bunch of my buddies were like, dude, you can just you can just hold down the trigger. It's much easier uh, and, and, and you'll get a lot more shots out and, and you'll be able to just aim. And I tried it out. And to be honest with you guys, I hated it. I hated it from, from the first time I tried it. And to be honest, I don't know uh, if there is a specific explanation for why this doesn't work as well as manually shooting each shot. But I've noticed that it's so much more different and easier to manually shoot each shot out of your SCAR or your assault rifle rather than to just hold down the trigger. Um, so I highly recommend manually shooting each shot, getting used to that. You'll do much better. It's much easier to get more kills and to hit more shots. Um, I don't know exactly what it is. It's just something about playing the game that way. Um, but you will notice it. I'm sure a lot of you guys have noticed it. Um, but, but manually shoot each shot that's in your gun. Don't hold down the trigger or the fire button, whatever. You're playing on PC, computer, or PC and computer, the same thing, obviously. Xbox, PlayStation, whatever you're playing on. Uh, make sure that, that you're manually shooting each shot. The fourth and final tip that I have for you guys is to land in popular areas to increase the amount of gunfights that you're going to get in. This is something that I wouldn't recommend doing if you're trying to just get a ridiculous amount of wins. If you only want to win, I don't, I really don't recommend doing this. But if you're trying to get better at the game, if you're trying to improve your aim, landing it tilted, landing somewhere where one of the weekly challenges is, somewhere where there's going to be a lot of players, is something that's going to improve your aim drastically, especially if you're, you're put in a situation where you have to fight multiple people at one time. Uh, with there being so many players around you it's going to force you to get good it's going to force you to hit your shots and you're, you're going to have a lot more experience with aiming uh, rather than jumping into a game and spending 15 minutes before you first find somebody so uh, make sure you're landing in these popular locations make sure that you're going places where there's going to be enemies so that you can practice shooting and uh, and locking onto your targets with your weapons but anyway guys that's for the video i hope you guys did enjoy some of these tips if you guys have anything else to add make sure to leave it down in the comment section below make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys next video